It has now been a week since Russian forces invaded Ukraine, and with the devastating events impacting the world, members within our own community wanted to know more. That's why two U Toledo professors hosted a public forum Wednesday night, March 2nd, to answer questions about the ongoing crisis. I was able to attend the event and see just what the speakers and the audience had to say. It was a night of questions, answers, and discussions Wednesday at the Toledo Lucas County Main Library, where two U Toledo professors, Dr. Joel Voss and Dr. Barry Jockish, were there to speak more on the events happening in Ukraine and Eastern Europe. A number of my colleagues and I decided it would be a good idea to try to put some kind of community event together. The event started with the two speakers discussing their analysis on the invasion. Then they turned it over to a discussion with the audience. One member in it, a student himself. I want to know more about, about the uh, future implications of uh, what this will have on the world. And some members had a lot to ask, from the weapons. Oops. What effect is that going to have on nuclear proliferation? About the younger generation. How do we um, pat them on their little heads? To concerns about a third world war. If you think that we will get into a crisis like that. And one had more to say than others. So most of the things they say it is true, but some perspective they jump. However, right for an there, audience member with house, family so, there, um, it hit home. I'm a little shaken up today. And with all the differing discussions, Dr. Jockish was happy with the turnout. I think uh, maybe that might be an indication that there's some public awareness. And as Ukraine continues its battle, locals here say they're with Ukraine. Your freedom that is at stake as well as the Ukrainians. So get up there and kick some butt. A U Toledo law student from Ukraine is leading an on-campus demonstration to support her home country. It starts at 5.30 tonight, Thursday the 3rd. She asks people to make signs to show their support. The march begins at the Thompson Student Union Auditorium and ends at the Law Center. She's created a Facebook page with more information and other ways to help. We have a link to that on our website, ut10news.com. Campus administrators recognize these are tough times, especially for those with direct conne connections to Ukraine and Eastern Europe. They're reminding the U Toledo community that mental health help is available through the Employee Assistance Program for faculty, staff, and their family. And through the University Counseling Center for Students, we have a link with more information on the center at ut10news.com as well.